I recently read a bulletin from our ophthalmology department promoting more outdoor time for our kids. I read a while back a study done in Taiwan where they looked at school-aged kids and compared kids who stayed indoors during recess versus kids who went out to play on the playground during recess. And what they found is kids who played indoors during recess were much more likely to wear glasses at an earlier age than the kids who played outside on the playground. So for years, for a multitude of reasons, but including for better vision, I've been promoting outdoor play for kids every day. And before COVID, I used to tell parents, try to get about 30 to 60 minutes of extra outdoor time after school. Um, it helps kids to decompress after they've been in at school all day before they have to go back and do some homework or reading or etc. It also gives them that extra activity time that they need to get that energy out and it also helps their eye development. What I didn't realize is now that kids are indoors on their devices, distance learning, that they're getting about one to two hours less of outdoor time than they were while attending school regularly. All those minutes during their regular school day from drop off to line up to recess, lunch, and pick up again added up to a fairly decent amount of outdoor time, but now that's all gone. The outdoor light is about um, 100,000 plus luminous intensity. Your outdoor shade is still about 10 to 20,000 luminous intensity versus your classroom or your indoors, which is merely 300 to 500 luminous intensity. And what seems to be happening is the blurred image on the peripheral retina leads to myopia or nearsightedness. And during reading or near work, your central retina has a focused image, but the periphery has a defocused or blurred image. And that persistent blurred image on the peripheral vision seems to cause these areas to function poorly and increase your risk of retinal detachment, macular degeneration, and, and leads to blindness. Outdoor time with its intense light seems to have very little peripheral defocus. Um, that high intensity light and contrast seems to be um, protective against that peripheral defocus. So in studies looking at kids five to 12 years old, two to three hours of outdoor time seems to halt um, and prevent further progression or slow down the progression to nearsightedness. So how does this relate to our spiritual life? If we're just looking and focused on what's near, we're going to lose sight of the bigger picture. And not only that, we're going to get more and more nearsighted, blind to what's around us and what's beyond us. The more we focus on ourselves and our own needs, the more we're going to become blind to others, our community, and the world in large. Now, we've been locked away in our homes and really limited in our engagement with the rest of the world. And it's easier to focus more on ourselves. And perhaps that's the problem we're having right now. A lot of people seems to be looking out for their self-interest. If we're hiding out in the dark and we don't let the light in, we're going to lose sight of the beauty that is life with Jesus. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life and will never walk in darkness. John 8, 12. Follow in the steps of Jesus, the ever-giving, self-sacrificing lover of humanity. Look to the light of the world and see all that God intends you to see. Make it a daily habit to let the light in so that you won't be blind to the needs and joys of others. 
when you did it to the least of these brother, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it for me, Jesus said in Matthew 25, 40. As we head into Thanksgiving, as hard and difficult as this year has been, God has still been good and faithful. Look at the good in your life, be grateful, and share the good with others. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a blessed day.